All right, so this is the 580 Simbeth sled. So I got the intakes and the exhaust plugged up. This one doesn't have a pulse. It's got pulse ports, but it's electric. It's a electric pump. It's EFI. Hear that? See all those bubbles? Things shot. It's supposed to hold 8 PSI. In worst case scenario, it's not supposed to drop any faster than one PSI per minute. And it's blowing that out of the freaking water. So that's will cause a lean condition on a two stroke and burn it down. And I'm glad I didn't listen to those idiots on the freaking Facebook that said, oh, sometimes they do that. It just means that they're running good. I mean, what a jackass. It wasn't running good. That's why I asked a question about it to begin with. I mean, some people, man, I swear. So that's coming out. Uh, they pop out pretty easy. And then um, I'm going to clean up the crank, clean up the services. I'll put it back, put the new one in, pop that back on. I got to get four new screws here. I'm going to anyways because this is just a stupid idea to put Phillips screws there. I mean, I almost, I pretty much jacked up these two pretty bad. As far as I'm concerned, I can go to Lowe's and get, come on, you piece of junk. Oh my gosh. There we go. I can go to Lowe's and get four of these. They're metric, but I'll just get four new ones. Call it a day. This thing's really having a hard time focusing. I had to hammer, it looks like a swastika. I had to hammer it in a bunch of times and then heat the crap out of it. And then uh, pound a, a bit into it. And then grab it with some channel locks and it finally came loose. So, But I'll get one of those order up. Um, put it all back together. Well, I'll just put that back on and then test it again. Hopefully that was the only leak and, uh, I'm not going to have to, cause there's another crank seal on the other side, but that one is behind the magneto and flywheel and that one you have to pull the case apart and it splits right here. So boo on that. So hopefully this will, this will do the trick. What's going on? This is my 98ZR 600 EFI that I ended up putting a 580 EFI out of a 96ZR. Let's give a quick walk around. Nothing special. I mean, I just kind of cleaned it up, rebuilt the skid, freshened up the front end, put some different skis on there, put a new uh, seat cover. Do the whole skid. All new bearings, polished up the rails, all new hardware, painted, which was sandblasted, rust fixed, primed and painted, and then clear coated with two part epoxy. Um, upgraded the bogey wheels to the newer style. It's got a complete wiring harness out of the 96ZR580FI. 
temp gauge doesn't or it's not hooked up so but yeah that's it um everything works as a closed system just like it should so i mean this is a 98 so it's not like this is an open ignition sled um when i got the sled there's a few things wrong with it the hood was just destroyed i mean pretty much the whole hinge portion was just broke off and it was barely it was held on by a bunch of glue so i ended up making some brackets for it painted them up with the epoxy just a little stuff that's the engine tried to you know make it look as original as possible obviously i had to use the newer air box well i wanted to but everything's good all stock clutches um, it's got clicker shocks and the adjustable rear um, i ended up getting motor mounts out of a pantera a 91 or i'm sorry a, a 2001 it's either a 99 or a 2001 pantera efi 580 and use those and that fit perfect because it had the, the regular um, ZR mounting plate. And this, this is obviously a battery, yeah, battery powered. And mounted the computer in the same spot as it was in the 96 chassis. But other than that, I uh, used the 96 tack and odometer and fired up. Let's see if it, I think it needs a new battery though. <laughs> shakes a lot less than it did when it was in the 96 ZR chassis. I'm blaming that on the, the plate that it was mounted to, the, the 96. seals, new impeller, shaft looked real good, and then I did a pressure test before I put it back in, and the PTO crank seal is bad, so I put a new one of those in there. Tested it again afterwards, I held 8 PSI perfectly, no issues. So yeah, alright guys, just feel like Showing you after I got done, just literally got done cleaning it up, so.